Hi, my name is Cameron Carlson with AnimeLocation.tv. I'm here at OhioCon 2020 with my good pals Ricky and Tavi of TaviCat. Hey, hi. How's it going? We're doing good. It's Sunday. A little tired, but we're all doing okay. So it's been a year since the last time I've got the chance to talk to you. How have you guys been since then? I'll let you guys each individually answer. Oh, it's just, um, well, oh, it's, it's, it's been a really busy, crazy year, and uh, it actually went by pretty fast so in 2019. Uh, it was a great deal of change for me because my my father passed away, so that was a few uh, months of getting things in order and recouping, and it's it's will be ongoing for a while because he was my best pal. He was he he was my uh, reason probably for uh, being interested in some fandom too because uh, he we grew up with uh, Star Trek, of course, the original. <laughs> God. Well, when I'm not having Tavisha erase my mind. Uh, usually I remember things. I sit around and I think about how good my memory is. Uh, and I think, wow, I remember that time when I knew that person's name. There was a flower over there that I remembered. Now I don't know what these things look like anymore. Everything's just a big gray haze. What did you do in 2019, Ernie? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. Since the last time we got to talk to you guys, the Invader Zim movie has finally come out. Um, how is it like to see it uh, come out and how was the movie received? You guys want to talk about that? Because you were also getting the chance to sit on some behind the scenes on it. A little bit, yeah. I uh, should videoed everything. I did, and I, I really need to get some stuff on YouTube. I have a little bit up there, but not enough. But uh, Ennio Morricone. Sergio was the director. He just mixed it all up. Hi, I'm Ricky Simons. You should watch Invader Zim Enter the Florpus, which is a very good movie, which I star in, and also Richard Horvitz is in for some reason. Anyways... Uh, there's a great song that goes, peace is nice, peace is nice, peace is better, which is not by Ennio Morricone at all. <laughs> no. All right. No. So it was very good. I'm glad that we got to do the movie. And so far, the response has been good. We should make a million more episodes, even if Jonah doesn't want to. <laughs> so uh, you guys uh, did a Kickstarter for Reality Check. Uh, it's still going on, and you've been able to keep uh, fans up to date on it. How is it going for the fans that have been able to keep up with it? Well, we try to update them as soon as we can. Um, um, mostly I'm working on a lot of the, the commissions, uh, and so it's, it's a, it got a, a little overwhelming. But, you know, uh, little by little, we're getting everything done. And I keep in close contact with who, and uh, they know how to reach me on Facebook and such. Yeah. So it, it's been a lot of fun. But um, I think you answered all of my questions. Uh, you, did you? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> no, you just answered everything. I did not. Yeah. I said it, I'm doing commissions yeah, and everything. Yeah, that's exactly what's happening with it right now. <laughs> because it's, well, it's not the commissions, it's the rewards. The rewards. rewards. You know. The kitty portraits you know and what? stuff. Giving itself is a reward. <laughs> giving go. itself as a reward. <laughs> what? No, we answered the question. <laughs> oh <my goodness. laughs> so um, you both discussed your love for D and D, um, playing the game, and it had a huge surge in popularity over the last decade. What do you think makes people want to play it almost 50 years after its inception? I think it has a lot to do with um, the community, uh, having that community spirit, and also uh, there's a really Nice. It's a nice way to have an inclusive, uh, fun uh, game that everyone can just uh, sit down and enjoy with friends, family, and uh, people who um, they just use it as a as a social type event. I think these days, and uh, I I know I, I always enjoyed it just because it helps with your imagination and and uh, being a creative person. It was really fun to use it as a tool to create new characters and have an excuse to. Just goof off and, and play. So, have, what about your? I play it so that I don't uh, go to jail. <laughs> I can plot how to murder my enemies using magic, uh, which is usually illegal, <laughs> at least in the United States. But I'm pretty sure somewhere in Eastern Europe you could get away with it. <laughs> but in any case, uh, yeah, you play D and D. You learn how to use, use spells. Uh, no one remembers the satanic panic of the 80s, but I do. Yeah, right? Okay, all that was real. Demonology, that's what it's about. There you go. It is, uh, it's called Absinthium Kingdom. Thank you. I like how you renamed it. Yeah. That's something I would do. Right. Uh, Absinthium Kingdom is a story about uh, a man named Pubsy, Pubsy Pot Valiant who lives in a hidden city of surrealists in the Antarctic with his cat Dali. Um, I have a... It, it's a novel... 
originally that I've been working on for the last 12 years. But I did the uh, first two chapters as a podcast. And uh, what I'm doing right now is uh, finishing up some of the editing on the novel because the novel's done. Uh, and uh, then I'm going to continue to do the podcasty version of it. But so far, it's pretty good. Uh, I'm enjoying doing it. Uh, I had to take a couple of breaks because of some things that went on recently, but I'm going to get back to it uh, in the next couple of days. So. I, I think fans will probably look forward to hearing you audio narrate it, and on top of that, it's your imagination coming forward for more fans to get involved. <laughs> imagination. Like a self D&D, like self right? Yeah. So, uh... So you guys love continuing to work on your webcomic about your cats. Uh, how's it going with you guys working on your comic? Well, that's that's twice a week. So no matter what's going on, like the, if we fell, you know, if, if if we had an earthquake and we fell into the ocean, I'd still have to be working on this cat comic. But anyways, uh, twice a week we have it ready uh, every Monday and Wednesday, and that's on GoComics.com, and it would be go talk. Uh, GoComics.com slash TabbyCat if you want to check it out. Or we mirror it on our, our, our main TabbyCat site. Uh, and basically, if uh, you want to see our cat Pippi beating up uh, Ricky, that's the comic for you. <laughs> I like the comic, but I mostly work on it because it's a contractual obligation. Tabshed had slipped in a prenuptial uh, 25 years ago, and I didn't realize that it was written in there that in order for this marriage to continue, I have to work on a webcomic with her. So this is it. Hope you guys like it. <laughs> now, speaking about something you guys both love that you've been at the very beginning of is that you both love Star Wars. I know that you posted a picture with one of the original pins uh, from the original Star Wars in the 70s. Um, what was how, The new movie has just come out, the ninth movie. It's finally a close on many of the chapters of very many various characters throughout the nine films. How is your feelings towards the uh, closing of that final chapter and the beginning of new chapters going forward? Well, this is a, a flood of memories with Star Wars. Um, I can't even begin my Star Wars story because I would be here two hours. Because, <laughs> but but uh, a short version is is when I was a kid, I had a friend who went to the same uh, school as uh, uh, Gary Kurtz's daughter, Melissa Kurtz, and so we got to see. Uh, long story short, a preview of Star Wars before it was even fully edited. So. I feel like I've been there since the very, very beginnings, and seeing it to the close, it's quite emotional. Yeah. So, and uh, I, I know I'm I'm looking forward to see uh, what new adventures uh, Disney may bring forth to this because, um, I mean, I am a fan, even even some of the the, the questionable ones, <laughs> I get through. But uh, I, I'm actually enjoying the the Mandalorian. Yep. And uh, I was pleasantly surprised with that because, again, it was really uh, taking the heart and soul of some of the original concepts and, and just extrapolating more. And I, and I enjoy that. And i um, looking forward to seeing more stuff like that and maybe even some more Han Solo adventures yeah. with Chewie because I did like the movie. I really did. <laughs> I'm mostly in it for the Jawas since the beginning. I've been all 100% behind my tiny little glowing-eyed brothers. Baby Yoda? No. No, unless 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 he like becomes like he like becomes like a an extra Jawa. Like he like leaves the helmet guy behind and then just joins the Jawas. Uh, but yeah, you know, steal on my tiny little glowing-eyed brothers. Woo! Alrighty, now, are there any upcoming projects we didn't get the chance to talk about that you guys want to talk about right now that aren't behind the NDA wall? Well, I just, um, I'll go ahead and, yeah, I'll gonna just remind everyone that we are finally publishing, self-publishing our Shutterbox books again. And we got uh, basically uh, going one through, uh, and then this is five, the latest one, and we will continue it at some point, and as soon as we're done with the reality check project, but we are not giving up on it. So, you know, this is how uh, we're presenting it now, though, with, uh, with just um, our own publication. So, okay. Anything else you want to talk about? Nope. <laughs> I think that might be it. Alrighty, and one last thing. Where can we follow you guys online? Uh, as you talked about, we can find you at uh, Go Comics for Tabby Cat. Um, and then um, where else can we find you on? Uh, I know you love Twitter. 
Uh, you posted in a fun goose video yesterday as you almost ran into a pole. <laughs> um, you love talking about uh, the Star Wars stuff and everything online. So where can we follow you guys? I'm on Facebook. Just look for my name, Tavisha Wolfgarth Simons. I, I just use my, my name. And also on, uh, it'll be, let's see, Instagram will be Tavi Cat. Uh, yes, follow me on twitter.com uh, slash Ricky Simons on Twitter. The, I have links, and it'll take you all to all the things that are on the planet that have to do with uh, my stuff. Alrighty, and what message would you love to give to the fans that have been able to watch you throughout all these many wonderful interviews and all your work? Well, we really enjoyed our, every moment at the Ohio cons that we've ever been to. Uh, I think we almost made all of 20. Of, I think 17 is the total that we've made so almost 20 <laughs> so this is really special to, to, to see that it's come all these years mm -hmm. all the way to 2020 <laughs> so let's let's another you know let's make it you know another hundred more <laughs> okay thank you i just appreciate all the love and support seriously thank you uh what was the question he spaced out i knew it <laughs> well, what message would you like to give to the fans oh the ceiling is really high in this building. Like, really high. Again, Ricky, you sign off with the best ending we can ever hope for in an interview. Thank you so much for coming out and joining me today. Thank you.